there are two methods of viral reproduction. These are the lytic cycle and the lysogenic cycle. First, we will discuss the lytic cycle. In the first step of viral reproduction, the virus attaches to the host cell. Surface markers on the virus attach to receptor proteins in the cell's membrane. Then, the virus inserts its genetic material into the host cell. Once the genetic material is in the cell, it can become a part of the host cell's genome. The virus takes over the host cell's machinery and causes the cell to copy its genetic material and make more capsids. This disrupts the cell's homeostasis and can damage the cell. The viruses assemble themselves inside of the host cell. The capsids wrap around strands of viral DNA. Finally, the host cell's membrane is broken apart and the viruses are released. This can damage and destroy host cells. During the lytic cycle, New virus particles are quickly produced, and host cells begin to be damaged and destroyed, causing symptoms to appear within just a few days of infection. The lysogenic cycle starts the same way, with the virus attaching to the host cell and inserting its genetic material into the host cell's genome. But after this, the virus begins to be reproduced in a different way. The viral DNA remains dormant inside the host cell's genome, and it is copied along with the cell's DNA during cell division. Each new cell then contains a copy of the viral DNA, also called a prophage. Because the viral DNA remains dormant in the host cell's genome for a long period of time, viruses that reproduce through the lysogenic cycle do not start damaging cells and causing symptoms for long periods of time.